Hey guys, what is up? Wafla here. Uh, I've got a SMG tutorial for you guys, and uh, last week we did a... No, last... A few days ago? I'm not sure anymore. Spittle. Um, anyways, uh, SMG tutorial, yes. So this is my um, Black Chess Knight, which I used to be a part of a platoon that was named after uh, chess pieces, but that's not important. Let's get into SMGs. Now, most people think SMGs are just a real simple point-and-shoot weapon, but for some reason people don't realize that it has long-range capabilities. I don't understand, but um, let's get that all, let's get all those myths cleared up. So SMGs are actually, like, you can kill a railgunner with this. Look, look how far this thing is shooting. Are you kidding me? Are, look, look at this. It's hitting all the way up there. Oh, let's shoot in this corner. Look at that, it's hitting that corner. This is where a railgunner would be. Look, I'm hitting right now. And look at this target. I'm hitting right in the center of it. It is not inaccurate. However, there is one quirk. See that? They are projectiles. So they will, um, they'll fall behind. So what do you do? You want to lead your targets. For example, if there's a bomber in the sky and he's flying along, uh, you shoot. And it does that. Wait, ugh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Alright, um, SMGs are a really simple gun. It shoots, and then it does damage. Very simple. Each shot only does around 2,000 damage, so don't expect too much if you land one or two hits. But as an SMGer, your main role is to kill and get all the attention. You want all the attention, you want center stage, you want the lights, you want decorations, everything. So, basically, if you're an SMG tank, medics, please, heal them. They're the ones who need healing. Although, flyers take priority, because this... Their flyers are easy to heal, you get them back in the air, and the sooner you get them up in the air, the sooner you get other bombers off of your back. Anyways, but SMGs are usually your main priority. So, uh, let's talk about interesting quirks about SMGs. SMGs are projectile weapons, and because of this, they have a damage bonus when they hit. So I think they do an extra damage of 3,000 when they hit. And, uh... Uh, let's see what else. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, kind of like CSGO, they have a spray pattern stays in the center first, and then it spreads out. It doesn't spread out too far. So watch this. Let's do it again. The first four or five shots are 100% accurate. So if you're shooting at something at long range, look at that. They form a perfect line. That indicates that it's almost perfect accuracy. You want to keep that in mind. So when you're shooting things at a distance, you want to do that. And remember, your accuracy is affected by movement. See how the crosshairs do that. So when you're on the move, you're probably only going to be able to get off three or two shots. And then when you're at a complete standstill, you get another five shots with perfect action. So let's talk about the second quirk. Um, because of the projectile, you want to be able to lead your shots. This is an intentional mechanic implemented by the devs. I'm not sure exactly why, but whatever. We're just going to have to learn how to deal with it. Because this is Robocraft. The meta changes faster than you can think. So anyways, when you're aiming for flyers, uh, one tip is to look at your projectiles, see how they have the... you can actually look at them. Uh, try to make sure they land under the target. And as long as you're doing that, then, uh, then it should work. But usually flyers aren't too fast, so as long as you keep the flyer at, like, you see the circle around it, that white circle? As long as you keep them on there, along there, and you just trace, the, you just trace in front of it, it should hit. It should land. Unless it's a drone and they're going for a dive, then you want to go a little further than the white circle. But otherwise, other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, now that we've booted into the single player map, I would not recommend using SMGs on flyers. I'm not sure why people do it. It's too much work, man. I mean, you're flying around, you have to make sure your bot stays in the air. On second, you have to lead your shot. Third, you have to keep your target over. It's ridiculous. Ah, you're giving yourself way too much work, guys. Uh, it works for drones because drones can stay still in midair, but come on. You flyers out there who are interceptors. First off, you're not doing enough DPS that you could be. Just move on to plasma, gosh. Alright, anyways, um, let's talk about combat. How do I not see a single robot? Oh, there's one. Alright, let's go sniping. See how elite I shoot a little ahead of them? Because the uh, projectiles need to have time. Projectiles need time to fly over them, so that's what we need to do. Wow, I just shot up a mega gun. So when you're at a distance, okay. As a general rule of thumb in Robocraft combat, always 
shoot off major components like that mega gun at this distance. Make sure that mega gun gets shut off first because that'll reduce. Then the same thing applies to regular guns as well. You want to concentrate shooting on the um, you want to concentrate on shooting the normal guns. Now what I'm doing is I'm shooting his mech legs. Mech legs will um, mech legs count as a lot of their HP. And if, uh, and yeah, it's like free damage. So let's see, mega guns from here. Goes off. There we go. Uh-oh, I'm running a lot of energy. Now because most of the time when you're using SMG, you'll have you'll have a really tanky bot. So don't be afraid of not shooting. It's, you're better off not shooting than uh, having no DPS shooting. Although if you really need to risk it, then you may. Let's get some energy back. Uh, another interesting quirk with SMGs is that they work better. They work better when they're shooting on top of them. So for example, see the front ones there? Listen to this. Look at that! He just got shredded! If I had these on a flat platform like that guy's gun, a lot of the guns will just shoot themselves in the back and they wouldn't be doing much. Ugh, mega guns! Shoot them off first! There we go, he's harmless. Shoot this guy's guns off first. Usually what I like to do with tanks when they attack me is uh, cut him in half. See, look at that. He only has half his tracks now. So uh, yeah, you want to concentrate shooting the tracks. Even though I'm using tracks myself, I'm actually protecting mine. See that? It's protect. Even a one block shield is good enough to protect. Uh, protect See this guy? He he could have protected the tracks, but he didn't. That's because he's using scrub guns, which is the mega SMG, and you're gonna pay for it. Listen to that. That beautiful sound. Did you hear that? Let's hear that again. Oh, okay, that is. The beautiful sound means you've hit maximum GPS with an SMG. And when that's happening, you know they're getting wrecked. See what I did there? That's another thing you can do with SMG, I bet all of you know, which is to shoot them in half. But when you can't get exactly shoot them in half, shoot off the track. Or movement parts. Whatever they're using, just shoot it off. Alright, okay, you probably would. And yeah, that's pretty much it for SMGs. Uh, there's not really not really not much to them. Uh, if you liked the video, hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Please subscribe, because subscribing helps a lot more than likes and views. Trust me on that. Because it's a really, it's free, it's something you can do to help the channel out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time with the rail video. I meant rail cannons, or whatever. Alright, so now that we've done um, uh, oh, cover. Alright, um, we, uh,